Hi everybody, this is Patty, and I'm here with a guest design team project for Saw Crafters. And if you watched my um, reveal box of the things that Saw sent me to work with, you'll recognize this little girl chipboard dress mini album. There's five pieces and it, it's extremely hard to show you here because of the angle of the camera but there will be still photos at the end to give you a better idea of how it looks and it will stand by itself like that and so I, I think I'm going to run through it one direction and then we'll go and turn it around and we'll go back through the other. I put grommets, just these little grommets you buy at the fabric store. I put them in the top here and I glued them in with Fabri-Tac, Beacon's Fabri-Tac, and then I ran a satin ribbon through it, double knotted it, and tied it in a bow for the closure. Now for the first dress, You'll remember I'm using Saw's um, flat back pearls. A lot of the laces and the trims are the ones that Eva from uh, Great Britain sent me in that package that I won from her. The papers are either the Divine Collection by Prima that I got in Saw's store or they are uh, Dear Lizzie American Craft and those two paper lines seem to work really well together so I use them interchangeably. I made um, templates and I'll have some pictures that I'm going to stick at the front of this video that um, templates for the apron, the bib aprons that go over each dress and here I've cut some of this trim apart with just a piece of uh, Eyelid. There's a pocket here and room for four photos to slide down inside. This is the uh, beaded arches punch by Martha Stewart. I did punch it twice and glued it together because it's going to have stress where that pocket is with things going in and out of it. Now the apron flips up and I have a mat that pulls out. I've used this uh, Corbel um, this is EK Success, I'm sure, yeah, EK Success. This is a corner adorner punch, and so you can just slip your mat underneath, and I just put this brown mat in to give whoever decides to get this um, a template for their photos. And then I glued a mat here for placement of a photo. That's the first page. And then when we flip it over, Here's our second little dress. There is just um, a removable piece here. You can use this as a template, but I thought it would be a, a good roundabout size to put a picture right here in the middle of the doily. This is that some of that divine paper from Prima. The lace here is from Webster's, I believe. I have no idea where this came from. I've had it forever. And then when you pick this one up, there's room for a photo here. And there is a pocket here with the three jars with a heart and some cording. These have Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that. The canning jar lids have Wink of Stella on their jar lids. And then they have glossy accents over the top. And they form a pocket to house these three little booklets that will house two photos on the inside and one or two photos on the outside depending on whether you want to cover up the, the outsides or not. And they just slip behind there and that is dress number two. I'm having trouble with that repositional tape staying there. And then we go to dress number three. This was so fun it was like playing paper dolls I'll tell you. I had these two hearts that I had cut out that were just in my die cut bin. So I put them and glued them together. This little flower came from Eva's uh, gift box. The smile was part of the Dear Lizzie collection and I cut each one out, inked around it, put glossy accents on it, and then put them back down. Uh, this lace I've had and I just hot glued it around the edge. This is a grain ribbon. 
this and this is when our craft store went out of business they were selling everything at 90 percent off so I picked up a whole spool of this um, little daisy flower and inside of here are these um, what are these? These are droplets from Kaisercraft. I just love these things. I put them down with glossy accents, but they're clear, but yet they just give the appearance of like a, a dew drop. That's what these are here as well. And I got glue. You know how when you um, dab a piece of glue down, it, I think it was glossy accents really, or maybe Fabri-Tac from where I grew, glued the grommets down, but there was a couple little pieces on both sides that I couldn't get rid of. So to solve that problem so that you didn't see it, I took some glitter glue, I believe this is um, diamond stickles, and just put it all around so now the bodice is glittery. Solve two problems with, with one solution there. And here's another booklet for the inside that just slips behind the hearts. And then when you pick this apron up, you've got a mat here. And then, let me put this here to hold that down. This is a little booklet. And you untie it. This is one piece of paper here now, one 12 by 12. And so you pull it apart. And it will take me a minute to figure out how it goes here. Here we go. Now, you have room, if I can get it all out here, you have room for 12 4x4 four four photos on this side. Or if you made them 3x3, three three, that would give you a nice border all the way around. And then you have room for all but the one, so 11 on the other side. And what it does is it just accordions back on itself this way. I ran the grain ribbon behind the little booklet and I ended up bringing it over here to the side to tie because then it doesn't create as much bulk um, on the top of the book because the book is pretty pretty thick here so by the time you tie the ribbon and lay it to the side it's just about the same thickness so there's that page that little dress and then this one was another one of the Prima um, Fairy Rhymes, I think. And I had just saved this one little image because I love this little girl. I think that's the only page I have left of this paper. So what I did was I cut her apron, but I trimmed out around, you can see here, around, fussy cut around the flowers and everything. This is a magnet here. And you just, it's on the swivel with the... Um, Brags, swing it around, and then when you open it up, let's see, what do I have here? Maybe this. You can put a picture underneath here. It says, you make my heart sing. And then I did the uh, border with this punch. This is the eyelet border punch. This is also, uh, this is a stamping up, but you can get it in EK success as well. And then this was just some old Rick Rack braid and more of Saw's flat back pearls here. And this is just a little booklet. It'll hold two photos on the inside and two on the outside. And then you just slide it behind the borders, top and bottom. And so that makes a nice framework with it and keeps it right in place in the book. This comes down, goes back around, and snaps with the magnet closed. So then we move on to the next page. And I just love this one. I love them all. I had so much fun creating this book. It, it's like you revert back to a little kid and playing paper doll dress up. But it was so fun. These are more of those little flowers from Eva. This... Um, uh, silky kind of braid I had in my stash as well as these flat back pearl hearts and then here's another uh, paper doily that I just cut in half this is from the Dear Lizzie collection and there's three really good size photos you can put here and you put one here you're journaling and then I would just leave this plain and it just sits tucked behind and when you lift it up then you've got this little section that hides behind this flower. So you have three more and then one, two more. So you have five pictures that can sit here and the sixth here. So you look at an album like this and you think, oh geez, you can't put any pictures in something like this. 
but you can put a lot of pictures in these. I matted all of the cardstock first, or the chipboard first. Well, I guess the first thing I did was I went around it with Distress Stain, and that didn't seem to do the trick. So then the only other thing I had that was white was this chalk ink, which worked beautifully, except it takes forever to dry. So I did go around all the outer edges to get rid of that ugly cardboard color, and then covered them all with the paper, and then I went back and started putting the aprons on them. So now let's turn this around and I'll show you the back sides. Okay, this is the back of the book and there's just room for one photo here. I had this little roughly stuff standing up and I didn't like the look of it and I had already put the pearls down so then I decided I would bring it to the front and glue, hot glue it down and then that's why you just barely see the pearls hiding underneath but I like that look and on the sides <clears throat> the chipboard was so heavy that my grommets I couldn't put both pieces in them and crump them um, together so I ended up just putting um, um, paper uh, hole enforcers reinforcers over the top they're just really decorative they don't need to be there but it covers up any of the metal that you might see from the grommet on this apron you lift it up and here's one of Saw's little fairies that I covered in um, I actually used this is pearl blue and this is um, twinkling <coughs> pardon me twinkling H2O's and the, the little fairy serves as a stop point to slide your mats underneath and then I have a little sticker over here that says this makes me so happy and this was out of the Dear Lizzie line and then when you turn the page the next one is the ice cream cones this was some of Eva's flat back pearls and her lace. The ice cream cones did not come with the sprinkles on the top with the glitter, but I liked that look so I went back and put glitter all over these in just that spot. And then I made the ice cream cone and this is a little pocket here. And inside are four little mats that you can put pictures front and back or journaling or remembrances or whatever and they just slide behind the ice cream cones there. This one is a tri-fold and it is magnetized to stay shut. I put a lollipop sticker here, the ice cream cone and then the date sticker on it and then you just pick it up and there you are. And that's the next one. Oh, and then I just love, love, love this yellow one. I don't know. I love them all, but I really, really liked how this yellow one came up, came together. Uh, this lace is a wire trim lace, and so I cut it off, oh, this quarter of an inch off, and stuffed it and pleated it back behind. This is a grow grain ribbon, the flat back pearls again, that um, little daisy, um, um, lace that I had. This I cut out from the paper, backed it with the yellow and put uh, yellow brad in it. So it's full of surprises here. And then when you take this mat out, this is magnetized as well. This is part of this ribbon that I just made as a pull stopper. And then you have this little booklet here to hold three pictures four pictures, five pictures, and even a little one on the front if you want. And it just goes in her little pocket here and houses right there for you. And then when you lift it up, you have room for a large photo here and a large photo here. And I only glued the sticker down on the one half. Um, come on, what do I have here? Oh, the one half so that you could slide something and it will hold your picture. You could probably even have enough left of your sticky nest to put it on your photo to hold it down there. So then we go on to the next one. And this one I made another little pocket and put the lace on it. This is a ribbon um, floral ribbon uh, all together and I just cut the little roses apart and put them here. I'm going to have to go back and glue her little strap down a little bit there. And then I have just three tiny little booklets inside here. Oops, 
that one goes the other way because I wanted this ice cream cone to show. But you can have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine photos right here. These would be great for your Instagram photos that you have or your cell phone photos that we all seem to take so many of. This is a chipboard piece from the Dear Lizzie collection and another one of the roses. And here's how it comes originally, just on the row like this. This is one of Saw's um, wooden um, arrow sentiments. It says precious. And I used the twinkling H2O in lemongrass. And then I used, I think I put them back in the drawer. I used this glitter that I've had forever. I got it on sale after Halloween one year. And you use it and use it and it just never seems to disappear. But I made that so that you can slide your photo underneath and that will keep it from sliding out. And then there's a mat on the top part. And then we go to this one. This one I had problems with because I wanted to use this pleated paper. It's like crepe paper, and I should have known better. It was too lightweight, and after I got it on, it wanted to rip. This, these are the uh, flowers from Saw's store. And this is a, um, a sticker that I popped up, and then I ended up mounting this one here, but you can take the the solid little cream colored part out to use as a template for your photo and then it just goes back into the four photo corners. What I ended up having to do with this crepe papery stuff and I don't know, let me see if I can, there, it's got a lot of glitter in it but I took Mod Podge and I just, and you had to be really careful when you did that too because the Mod Podge made the paper so lightweight and wet that then it wanted to rip so I took and I mod podged it all so that I know now that it won't come apart and as it was still wet I just sprinkled the glitter on and let it dry into it. I like the look I just should have known better that this was too delicate a paper to use for something like this. And then when you open it up I have two more of these mats that you take that have the corner corner adorners on them and you pop these out and put your photos on and then this one is almost kind of like a waterfall but not quite so I have one that flips up and then here and here and here and it, you can see it's not a true waterfall because I didn't have enough room for it to keep going but it did give you room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos in this little area so eight, nine, ten, eleven photos on just this one so there's my little paper doll dress I'll have still photos to show at the end, and I hope you try this. All uh, You can get it in Saw's store. I'll leave the link down below to it. This was super, super fun. I just really, really enjoyed doing this. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye now.